Hey YouTube, I want to share with you a meter you don't see very often. This is a Westinghouse Power Factor meter and it uh, allows you to measure the lead and lag across a load. And I want to do a demo uh, um, actually using the meter, but I, this uh, particular uh, meter requires uh, 3,000 cycles for 3,000 cycle use or uh, 3 kilohertz. So I think this was some f uh, for some kind of a um, you know, maybe induction heating application. But uh, it's kind of neat. It's an analog power factor meter. And what it has is two coils perpendicular to each other. And when the current in one coil becomes out of phase with the current in the other coil, it will deflect the meter. So if the current is leading, it'll deflect one direction. If it's lagging, it'll deflect the other direction. And I just wanted to share with you the internal schematic of the meter as well. So this is uh, the schematic overview of the power factor meter and uh, see so has four terminals here and this is the, the cover for it you have two terminals to measure the voltage across the load and two terminals to measure the current through the load and this is a schematic representation of how it'd be connected you'd have the voltage terminals that would go across your load and I have your you know, just like a motor, and then you'd be measuring the current through the load. So the voltage across the load and the current through the load, and the current going through the load would go through this flat uh, pancake coil, this, uh, this stationary coil here. You can see the copper bus connecting that stationary coil. So that would go through a coil, uh, and the current flowing through this would produce a magnetic field. Uh, and we have the voltage terminals that go through a capacitor. And as far as I can tell, this is just a DC uh, blocking cap. I don't think it is uh, in proportion with the uh, inductance of the coil to do any kind of, you know, canceling. I think it's just, uh, it's primarily to block any type of DC currents uh, that would flow through and, and uh, create an error in the deflection of the, of the needle coil. And, um, but this, it does form a voltage divider with an 8.6 kilo ohm resistor. And the needle coil itself is 173 ohms and a 5 millihenry inductor. And go to these uh, voltage terminals. With this, uh, this type of perpendicular coil configuration. Just to point out, I'll show you the components. So this is the uh, 7 nanofarad cap here. This is the 8.6 kilo ohm resistor here. They connect to the needle coil, so there's a voltage sensing coil, and the current sensing coil. So that is an overview of the Westinghouse lead lag meter.